today I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how I use Blender to help me in my vector graphics creation. So today I'm working on a mountain for a Evian water bottle. So use the Ant Landscape to create the mountain and because I'm not rendering an animation or anything I can throw the resolution high and I'm looking for just a simple outline so I'm going to use the uh, weight layer weights to create a black and white image kind of giving an illusion of the mountain with some snows and just take a render and I'm intentionally leaving the gray background as it will help me in the next stage here I'm opening up Inkscape and just vectorizing the mountains and that lets me then start gradient, adding gradients to the mountains and anything I really want to do. My main point was to get a vector out of mountains. Now here I'm going to add them to my Evian water bottle logo and now I'm just tracing a little white line so that I can get a background to this mountain. As you can see the white areas are currently transparent. But once I have traced this mountain and merged it with the box, I can create a solid gradient for the whole label. Then I'm just going to save this colored version and then also create a black and white version that I can use later for reflections on the label. And here I'm going to jump forward to where I have a bottle, throw the label on, scale it, adjust it. switching over to materials, add the alpha transparency after re reflection, check that I get the right kind of reflections that I'm looking for, and once that is done, then the bottle is ready to be rendered, and um, this is where you can start tweaking your materials and to get exactly what you're looking for.